A pull quote is nothing more than a simple text box that pulls your eyes to a particular quote. Like for example, I've got my document here on Phil Collins and I want to be able to take one of his quotes and maybe like a newsletter or a newspaper, emphasize it over here to the right hand side in, some, in a box that has the quote in bold blue or something like that. So to get started, I'm going to click on the page where I want to put my pull quote box in and then go to insert, come over here to the text group, click on the text box. You can draw your own little text box and put your own quotes in there, but they have some predefined ones here that are built and like here's one in the center of the page, or I can scroll all the way down to the bottom here and select stars quote, click on it, it has some nice little stars and it has a quote and it tells you what to do. It just says go ahead and start clicking in here and typing over it and it will delete the information from the inside. But what I really have, I can click off in a blank area, is I got a quote all the way down at the bottom of page four here. And Phil Collins says, I've realized there's no point in doing anything which is supposed to be an extension of yourself unless it's a, unless it's a genuine one. I'm going to control C to copy that. I'm going to scroll all the way back up to my little pull quote box, click in it, highlight it to select it, and then click the paste button to paste over it. Once I paste over it, I want to click on the little smart tag and say I want to match the destination I'm pasting this quote into so it gives me the blue because that was what the for previous format was before I pasted over it. I'm going to hit the backspace key to get rid of that colon there. That looks very nice. If it doesn't look all that nice with the stars, I can hit enter and give it some more space so it fits just nice and snug. Now it doesn't have to be over on the left hand side, I can always hover my mouse over the border there and once you get a four way arrow, one going up, left and right and down, black arrow, that means you can click and you selected the border of the quote and you can drag it over, put it in the center, drag it over to the right hand side so you can move that around however you'd like. And then of course once you have this set, you can, as long as you have it selected here, you're going to get its related contextual tab by clicking on the format tab for text box. You can also make changes to it, give it color, an outline, change the box styles, give it a nice fancy, ooh, that's a nice shade right there. I'm going to stick with that and end this training. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.